So this video is on the equation of a circle. So as you might remember from GCSE, the equation of a circle with its center at the origin. So let's just quickly show what this looks like. It's going to be a circle with the center of the circle being at the origin. And the origin is 0, 0. The equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared and this is the equation for a circle with the center at 0 0 and r is the radius of the circle remember that the radius of a circle is a, a line that connects the center to any point on the circumference and r is the length of the radius. It basically dictates the size of the circle. So the square root of the number at the end here is the size of the radius. So for example, uh, the graph x squared plus y squared is equal to 16 is going to be again a circle with its centre at the origin. And the radius of the circle is going to be the square root of 16. So the radius of this circle is going to be 4. Now that's all well and good and that's quite easy um, hopefully. Um, all you need to know is about the radius and that basically just dictates the size of it. The, the, um, the center is at 0, 0 so that makes it a lot easier. But what if the center is not at 0, 0? What if it's not at the origin? What if it's at a different point? What? Let's uh, do a circle here. Let's do the circle looking something like this let's say. And the center as you can see, is no longer going to be at 0, 0. Let's say that the center is here. What is going to be the equation of this circle? The equation of this circle is going to be x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. And you need to get used to um, this um, equation is it comes up a lot. So let's break down this equation. What does it actually mean? Well, for the equation of uh, the circle, the center of this circle is going to be a b. So whatever the number on the bracket is, it's going to be the minus of that, as it's minus a minus b here, but it's just a uh, b uh, in the center. It's going to be the minus um, of that. So the center of this circle is going to be a B, and the radius of the circle is going to work the exact same as it was before. The radius is equal to r, and it's going to be the square root of the uh, constant on uh, the other side. And the radius is the length of the radius is just going to be r. So let's um, put this into uh, some examples um, to show um, what it actually is. So let's do x minus three squared plus y minus four squared is equal to 49. So the center of this circle is going to be 3, 4, as we need to do the minus uh, or the opposite sign of the number that is in the uh, bracket here because it's the opposite sign over um, here as well. So the center is going to be four, uh, 3, 4 and the radius is going to be the square root of 49 which is equal to 7 and uh, if they uh, on a graph it would look like uh, this where the center is about here and the radius um, is uh, that so therefore it's going to look something like this where the center is 3 4 and the radius is 7 uh, let's just do uh, another uh, quick example. Uh, let's say uh, the graph x plus 6 squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to 5. Well, the center of this circle is going to be minus 6. As remember, it's going to be the opposite sign here, and this is a plus this time, so it's going to be minus 6 as the x-coordinate, 7 as again this is a minus so it's going to be a plus and the radius so I don't really have enough room I'm going to have to do it up here is going to be the square root of 5 but there's no clean square root of 5 so the radius is just going to be root 
five. And if you um, this graph is going to look like let's say minus six seven is about here, and the radius is this. It's going to look something like this. And um, really, really quick, the reason uh, it looks like this is because the radius is root five, which is less than six and seven. So you know it's not going to cross the axes because uh, it would have to be bigger than um, six in order to cross it here, and have to be bigger than uh, seven um, in order to cross it here. Now. What I really need to emphasize um, with this is you are not going to be asked to sketch any graphs. The only reason I included this um, is because um, I kind of want you to get an idea for what they look like, um, the actual um, uh, graphs. The one thing that you need to take from this is you need to master and you really need to know how to find the center and the radius of a circle that has this equation. So you need to know that when you're presented with this uh, uh, equation, you need to know how to find the center and the radius and um, how to identify it from this very common uh, equation of a circle that they're going to give you. That's the thing you need to take away from this. They could ask you to do it in reverse where they give you the center of the circle and the radius of it. So remember the, uh, the equation of a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. So all you need to do is just plug the values in. So the equation of this circle is going to be x plus 4 squared. It's going to be plus 4, remember, because the sign is the opposite, plus y plus 5 over 2 squared is equal to 4 root 2 squared, which if you put that into a calculator, you'll find it to be 32. And this is the equation of the circle. They could give you the equation of the circle, but they could give it in its expanded form. For example, they could give you uh, the equation of the circle as x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now this isn't very useful to us as we can't extract any information from it, we can't get the centre or we can't get the um, radius, but we can put this into the form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. We can put it into this form and get useful information out of it. So they might ask you to find the centre and the radius of uh, the circle of equation this, so you need to put it into this form. So how do you do that? Well what you need to do is you need to complete the square separately on x and y. So let's do that. First of all I'm just going to rearrange this slightly to get the x and the y coordinates together. So I'm going to write this as x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. So we need to complete the square twice on the two separate x and y um, kind of uh, two terms. So if we complete the square on the um, x part, it's going to be x plus 1 squared, as remember we half the coefficient here, but remember we have to minus the square of this, so it's going to be minus 1 and this is the this part here. And then we need to do the y part, which will be plus y minus 3 over 2, because remember we have to divide this coefficient by 2, squared minus 9 over 4, minus 10 is equal to 0. We can simplify this by writing x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 over 2 squared and we can collect all of the constants here and if you put this into a calculator minus 1 minus 9 over 4 minus 10 this is going to be equal to minus 53 over 4 and that's equal to 0 and then we can bring the minus 53 over 4 onto the other side to make x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 53 over 4. And therefore we can find uh, the centre of uh, this circle as just being minus 1, 3 over 2, and we can find the radius of it being the square root of 53 over 4, which you put it into a calculator, it's root 53 over 2.